Hi everyone, this is Amin and in this video I'm going to show you to you how you can connect your Raspberry Pi Pico W to the internet. So first of all, what do we need? We need this one, which is the Wi-Fi module. This is Raspberry Pi Pico, so there is no Wi-Fi module on that. So this one uh, right now, I mean, I have a video on my channel that it shows how we can connect this one to the internet with extra module. But in general, this one is meant for that. So uh, with this one, and also this one, as you can see, the Wi-Fi antenna here, and this is the Wi-Fi chip. Uh, the, the screen will be the same, just a demonstration. I, I'm going to show both of them to you, how you can scan the SSIDs in your area, and also how you can connect. So let's just get started. This is my funny page, and I already have this script here. First one is this one, which I call it WLAN. And as I always uh, saying, you can find it on the github account if i run this one it checks and look at that it tells me okay these are the neighboring societies and uh okay this one is the SSID, like i mean iot bell this one this one i mean two point if you get noticed this device it is working based on 2.4 so this one is working based on 2.4 this one is way uh, uh, i'm sorry this one is working based on 2.4 and also ESP32 is based on 2.4. Uh, there is a new module in ESP that it has 5 gigahertz, but in general, all of the ESP uh, modules and Raspberry Pi all of them are on 2.4. So the B that you can see here right after the SSID name here, it means 802.11B, which is 2.4. This is the MAC address, I guess, this is the channel that they are working on that. So channel one, channel three, channel one, then channel 11, as you can see here. And this is the RSSI and yeah, that's it. So if you want to connect to the internet, it is the way that we do. We import network and from U time, import the sleep. So first, what do we need? We need to put it in the station mode. So we put the device in the station mode we activated it and then here just the username and password of uh, I mean SSID and password of your device and it's my like the, the lab device so it's something really simple I mean nothing crazy then you should just run the script so when you run it I mean I added some uh, if conditions here because every time I want it to check if it is connected or not if it is, just tell me, okay, there you go, giddy up, you are connected. And uh, this one, if you remove this zero, so it shows you DNS, uh, the gateway, and IP address and, uh, and the subnet mask. However, for my case, I just want to know the IP address that I'm getting. So, so far, if I run it, and you do need sleep time here, look at that sleep. Uh, I mean, be between each try, you need a sleep, and the first sleep is just to check the file. I it was a, like a, a run trial number, but if I run this one, for example, so it's look connection fail next attempt, then tries again, connection fail next attempt, and it said uh, didn't work. Run the script again, check your Wi-Fi is working, then check username and pass that you've used maybe this device I changed the user and password I'm not sure no it connected so I got connected in the first try sometimes that I kind of understood based on my experience uh, the problem is based on the delays so it might be connected on the first try but when it wants to get the file and read the IP address and those and stuff, it cannot do that. So it says I'm not connected while it is connected. However, so this one is working right now. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just disconnect, unplug this one and put the D1 mini in. So I'm not sure if there is any uh, default program or something like that, but let me I can stop button then it is not showing anything to me why because I have to come here and change it to ESP8266 and also this one is okay I should come here choose the port 
which is to me is this one and then browse and that just put the firmware which i don't have any here right now here and do it so uh, I'm, I'm not gonna do anything i yeah it, it has some file and the main was something that it was doing so if i try the same file so let's make it a little simple first of all let me run this one which was on the raspberry pi if i run it let me see yeah we are getting the same result so it checks and the other one that uh i guess the other one that raspberry pi showed were the hidden ssids and this one wasn't able to show it but anyway i have these mine ssids if i come here just let me remove this part and simply add this print here like that again don't go something crazy okay and make this a slip something like that and run that again let me let's see yes it is the ip address that we got and we got connected basically the concept is the same whatever and if you use this one esp32 again it will be the same you scan you choose you connect so you just need to know uh, the ssid and password and it works in 2.4 and we're done with this video see you in the next video with more tutorials on microcontrollers stay safe guys bye